Hello and welcome to another Skyrim on Xbox mod video. Today isn't a top 5, this is a video on how you can overhaul magic in Skyrim, both for and against you. I'm focusing on four main factors here, those being quality of life, magic scaling, graphics slash immersion, and new spells. As always, I will throw in a few extra suggestions for fun mods at the end. First up, we have Sustained Magic, a quality of life mod that everyone can appreciate. Sustained Magic recasts spells such as summons, cloaks, lights, and flesh spells, as long as the caster has the magic for it. This is the first mod I wanted to talk about, as it alleviates one of the biggest annoyances with being a mage, the constant menus and spell switching. With this mod installed, you don't have to worry about the minutia. Set your tactics up before combat and then go ham with your destruction. You get this gem for only 59.2 kilobytes as well. It's worth noting that this is actually helpful for people playing any other class, so you will find a slot for it and you will not be disappointed, but please do read the mod page as it states a few bugs that aren't game breaking and I've had no issues but I thought I'd just point that out anyway. The other quality of life mod I use is called Control. I've done a video on how to use this before so check the top corner for that. But a quick summary is Control lets you set hotkeys to quick select favorited things. In this case, spells or magic potions. Like the previous mod, Control is usable on any class, so just a very worthwhile mod in general, especially for only 8.5 kilobytes. Using these two together means you don't have to hotkey your summons or flesh spells, only healing, wards and damaging spells. So they actually work brilliantly in conjunction with each other. Moving on to the second main focus where we have the spell scaling mods. I have a few options here for you. Those are Ordinator, a 20.9 megabyte mod, which fortunately is probably already in your load order. This is the number one perk tree rework, but let's focus on magic, where not only does it scale all magic, it also increases its performance by lowering costs across the board. This would be my top suggestion However, it will need patches for many other magic mods, so do be on the lookout for those. A less invasive change than Ordinator is basic spell scaling. This also changes the perk tree, but for magic only. It scales at 1% magnitude per level for destruction and restoration, and increases duration by 1% per level for alteration, illusion, and conjuration. This mod is significantly smaller at 3.2 kilobytes. And whilst I'm sure most will choose Ordinator, I wanted to give you that option. This is where things get a little bit more in depth. For my third focus, I will be throwing a set at you and a suggestion for anyone feeling brave enough. The idea of this set is to increase the immersion and graphics of magic. And I actually use these even when I'm not a mage. They're worthwhile for every play style. So the first of these is Frozen Electrocuted Combustion at 16.9 megabytes. What this mod does is change the death mechanics for NPCs and wildlife to match the spell you're hitting them with. Those who are finished off with ice spells now freeze before eventually shattering, the electrocuted convulse on the floor, and if burned they will char or turn into a skeleton dependent on the version you've installed. You'll find links for both in the description. The second is Deadly Spell Impact, a 28.9 megabyte mod that changes the way impacts of spells look depending on the level of spell and the surface it's used on. So again, it's extremely immersive and very high quality. I just massively recommend this one to anyone. We also have Arctic at 43.3 megabytes, Voltage at 15 megabytes and Fire HD at nine megabytes. Each of these change the appearance of spells and their effects in the world outside of combat. So are again, really worthwhile, even if you're not a mage. But when you are a mage, I find them to actually be a necessity as the low quality vanilla textures on repeat don't hold a candle to these. I will say you could probably replace Arctic with transparent and refracting icicles at 15.8 megabytes to save on space as it too is brilliantly high quality. It will come down to preferences. So check the description for the link to that as well. The last of the set is RLO Illuminated Spells, 2.6 kilobytes of pure quality of life modding. This is very explanatory and lights the way in darker areas. The coolest things for me are, it colors dependent on the spell you are using and it casts shadows too. It's basically the mage's answer to wearable lanterns because we don't need to. And now for those who can handle the heat and keep their cool, and I really should edit that out because it's pretty bad, we have fire and ice overhaul. This mod is crazy. It allows fire to catch and spread with ice being the method of extinguishing. You can build structures with ice as well, such as bridges, walls, platforms to attack from, 
or stairways up the mountain. It's awesome in concept and if you can get it to work, it is up there with the best mods available, hands down. But therein lies the problem. It is very very heavy on the Xbox system and against things like Dragon will cause some extreme lagging and potential crashes. That and the end of most of your villagers. But it's really cool no question about that. Over on PC it works a treat so fingers crossed that in the next gen we'll get to see it work on console. My fourth slot is probably the main event, the new spell packs. I'll be talking about three mods here and I will mostly talk about what sets them apart. The mods are Fenderic's Magic Evolved which is the smallest file at 1.1 megabytes, Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim is the middle sized mod at 72.5 and Arcanum A New Age of Magic is the largest mod coming in at 421.6 megabytes. But other than size, what separates these mods from each other? Each are learned and used by NPCs, each are purchasable and lootable, so which should you opt for? I'll start with Fenderix. This offers us over 300 new spells to play around with, which is far and away more than the other two. So why is this file size so small? Fenderix actually reuses assets from the game, which means no custom animations or design spells, so PS4 users can and do have access to this one, which is always really nice. Using a ton of trickery, Fenderix has managed to make spells overperform, increasing spell visuals like Flame Expulsion for higher level spells. This mod adds in basically every creature or mech to the summon list as well, and even allows you magic rocks or arrows from your hands at opponents. It's all very inventive, and this mod is no louch, and I'm gonna state that much right now. But when it comes to Apocalypse, the mod you've been seeing me use throughout this video, there's a real difference in what's available. Apocalypse actually has half the spells that Fenderix does, but don't think that's a con. This pack adds in 31 new spells to each school of magic, easily the most balanced and manageable spell pack on the Bethesda.net, much less wading through to find the ones that you like. Whilst variety is totally my thing, 155 spells will do me nicely. But honestly, the pros don't stop there for Apocalypse. These spells come with custom effects and animations, hence the larger file size. Personally, this one is my go-to for the above reasons, but remember, you will need a patch for this in Ordinator should you use it, so it will take up two slots. And now for Arcanum, the big boy. What makes it worthy of its 421.6 megabyte file size? This mod adds in the least amount of new spells at 100, which on the mod page, it does state will climb above 300. But this is a true quality over quantity mod. Each of these new spells are so unbelievably custom. From the way they look to what they do, they aren't like anything else in this game. Arguably the most inventive mod on the market right now. I can see this joining the list of staple mods everyone has, but in order for it to get there, I think that it will probably need to drop its file size. But here's the thing with that, it was built for PC, where that's not an issue and it was kindly ported over to us on xbox to enjoy the truth is if we want to appreciate pc standard mods then we have to use up the space and i do think on this occasion it's actually worthwhile so now for my verdict on these and which you should go for in my eyes apocalypse is still the number one magic mod and it does come down to a few factors size what's on offer how it's sorted and balanced but mods haven't been this close to its standard in years, with Fenderix offering space, versatility and ease of use, and the newly ported Arcanum offering such high quality, coupled with both of these still being developed whilst Apocalypse hasn't changed in years, I think it might finally have contenders. And genuinely at this point it comes down to preference again. What do you prefer? Versatility, design or best of both worlds in Apocalypse? That is up to you. And now for a quick fire round of fun suggestions that will make magic more worthwhile, or at least a little bit more fun. First, we have the Miracle of Flight, which adds in platforms, carpets and other flyable objects by use of spell. It's a lot of fun. Another option is the Magical College of Winterhold, which overhauls and vastly improves on the boring space of the magic school. Highly recommended for mages. You can also add in wizard's hats and wands for some extra fun. And with that we're drawing to a close. If there's any part of the game that you'd like me to try and overhaul, please do not hesitate to ask. If this has helped, I do always appreciate those likes and subscriptions. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.